In this video, we're going to do some setup for the reputation management module. We will be building on some things we have done in previous videos. We're assuming that you've created a company, added a GMB or Google My Business to lead generated, as well as made the association between that GMB and a company. If you'd like to follow along, please make sure these steps are completed. If you don't have these steps completed, you can check out the getting started guide for creating a company or adding a Google account. Before we jump into it, let's do a brief overview of how the system works. Let's start with the funnel. If we expand reputation management and click on funnel, this will take us to the funnel for this company. Each company gets its own funnel and you can adjust the company you're working with through the dropdown in the top right corner here. If you scroll down on this page, you'll see there's a button to preview the funnel. If we click this button, it'll open our funnel in a new tab. The idea of how this works is our client goes and does some work. After they complete the work, they send their customer an email. Within that email is a link, which takes them to this funnel. Once the customer is on this page, they can select a score for the review based on our client's work. Depending on the review score they provide, one of two things will happen. They will be redirected to a review site we have added, or they will see a feedback form. Let's pretend they are happy, so they click on five stars. The customer is now presented with a few different review options. These are what we refer to as review sites. For this example, I will click on the Google option, and you can see we are redirected to the place where we can leave a review for the GMB connected to lead generated and associated with this company. Now let's return to our funnel and pretend that instead of five stars, the customer clicks on one star. This time they are redirected to the feedback form. This feedback is routed to our client so they can be alerted of the unhappy customer and address the issue. Now that we understand how things work, let's start getting things set up. The first thing we want to do is set up our review site on our funnel so our system knows what sites to send the happy users to so we can get those positive reviews. From the left side navigation, expand reputation management and then select Funnel. Next, we're going to choose the Review Sites option tab, which is the third tab on the right here. This is where we can decide what sites are available for the reviewer to leave the review. Let's click this plus sign here and we should see a list of review sites. The one we're gonna set up for this example is Google. So let's click Google and we should see this pop-up menu. Assuming you have connected both your GMP and made the association with this company, you should have a drop-down list of the GMBs for the company right here. Let's select our GMB from this list and click the button that says Add Review Site. Okay, great. So we just added our review site to the funnel. Now let's test the connection. To do this, let's click on the Funnels tab, which is the first tab. If we scroll down, we can see the Preview button. Let's click that button to open the Funnel Preview in a new tab. In this new tab, let's click on Five Stars and we should see the Google icon. If we click on that icon, it should take us directly to the spot where we could leave a review from this GMB. No need to leave a review now, we just wanted to make sure the connection is working correctly. Let's close this and head back over to our funnel. From this screen, you can edit the review funnel with your own text, colors, or logo. We can even change the stars to smiley faces or thumbs up and thumbs down. For each option, you will notice there's a feedback or review action next to it. This is where you can decide what happens if a user clicks on this option while leaving a review. So if I have feedback selected, they will be directed to the feedback area. And if I have review, they will see the review sites I have added. The notification screen allows us to set up some alerts if we receive feedback from a customer as opposed to a positive review. Perhaps we'd want to add our client's email address here to alert them to the fact that someone may not be happy so they can address the situation. Currently, the review requests are sent out by email. You can adjust the delivery settings by clicking email from the left navigation under reputation management. This first tab allows you to set up a series of emails requesting a review. I can customize the message within this email, the timing of when they are sent out, and exactly how many of them we're going to send. Again, these settings are stored on a company level, so whatever email settings I make here will apply only to the company that is selected in this box in the top right corner. Additionally, I can initiate a review request from this page by clicking this button and typing in the name and email address of the person whom I'd like to receive a review from. The second tab under the email option is SMTP settings. This allows you to validate an email address to send your review requests from. The customer of your client may not know lead generated, but they certainly know your client's company as your client just provided them service. If this customer were to receive a review request from lead generated, they'd probably just ignore it. So we allow you to add an email address here to send the review request to the customer from a company and email address they are now familiar with. This means they are much more likely to leave us a review. In order to use this option, 
click this button to enable SMTP settings, and then fill in the email information associated with your email account. Click Validate to test the authentication settings. After successfully validating, send a test email to ensure things are working correctly. There are three spots within Lead Generated where you can request a review. We saw the first one under this tab just a moment ago. The second one is under the Review Request Menu option, right here. And the third one is on the Lead Detail page. Let's look at that one and talk about it just for a minute. To get there, we will expand leads from the left navigation and then select All Leads. We will now click the View button next to a lead. This is the Lead Detail page. You can see we have this button in the top right corner to send a review request from this page. Since your clients can have access to the leads assigned to them, they can use this as their own CRM to organize their business. From this page, they can track, edit, add notes, and update a status for a lead. From here, they can also initiate a review request. If I were to click this button and then click Send, it will start the sequence of review emails that is associated with this company. Notice in this case, it has already pulled in the name and email associated with this lead. Okay, great. So we have added our review site to our funnel for our company, tested the connection, set up our email account, as well as the email sequences. We have extensive documentation within our support area about the reputation management module if you need some more assistance.